Our interim town manager has implemented a mask mandate for all the town meetings held in municipal buildings even after 5 p.m. until February 15th. This measure has been put into place to slow the spread of the new COVID, COVID variant, but history and research have shown that masks do very little to slow the transmission of viruses. Cloth masks are made of common fabric and are highly permeable, and they become even more permeable with every wash cycle. A 2015 study of cloth masks concluded that particle filtration was extremely poor at almost 0%. They were found to cause significant disease transmission and were highly discouraged in the use of infection prevention. The FDA explicitly states that under emergency use authorization, surgical or cloth masks cannot state or imply that they are intended for use as infection prevention or reduction. They must state that not because misuse may result in a lawsuit, but because these masks simply do not present the capabilities to prevent the spread of a virus and to label them as such as false advertising. In 2019, the WHO conducted an analysis of numerous randomized control trials related to masking and found that there is no evidence that masks to reduce the spread of viruses in community settings. In 2011, the Journal of Influenza and Other Respiratory Viruses published a review of scientific evidence on the use of masks to prevent the transmission of influenza. It concluded that none of the studies they had reviewed established a conclusive relationship between mask use and protection against infection. The masks sold in stores for the general public to wear were nothing more than a feel-good measure. CNN medical analyst Leanna Wen stated on December 21st, cloth masks are a little more than facial decoration. She also stated the typical mask you buy in the drugstore is not really effective in keeping out the virus virus, which is small enough to pass through the material. How long will it be until they finally say that all masks are ineffective at stopping the spread and nothing more than a proverbial band-aid on the problem? How many more ineffective mask mandates will be put into place before we stand together and say we have had enough? What will happen when the governor's tyrannical powers expire? What will the Board of Education's policy on masking in the schools be then? Our children be the last allowed to take their masks off because they cannot advocate for themselves. We the people have the power. United we stand, divided we fall holds true now more than ever. This town mask mandate is perfectly convenient for the board. It gives them a false sense of safety and silences those with opposing views at the same time. Throughout history, it has never been the good guys who have used the power of police to try and intimidate and silence opposition. Can the board answer why there is such a heavy police presence here tonight? What is different about this meeting versus any other meetings in the last six months? Dr. Martin Luther King gave us the quote, one has a moral responsibility to disobey unjust laws, and I will continue to do just that. And for masks, there's a simple solution and one that doesn't mean tossing out our individual civil liberties and it goes like this. Those who choose to wear a mask can do so and those who don't are not mandated against their free will.